Hi everyone, I'm Marley Dias, founder of the 1000 Black Girl Books campaign, author of Marley Dias Gets It Done and So Can You, and the National Education Association's ambassador of Read Across America. Today I want to talk to you about something we all know I love, reading. And not just reading as a hobby or an assignment, but instead I want to share with you a book that played a significant role in making me the person I am today. That book is Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. Back in 2014, when I was nine, my Titi Eva gifted me the book for Christmas, and I was beyond excited to read it. Since I was born, books had played an enormous role in my life. I spent hours alone in my room reading. I carried a book everywhere I went. I love books because they gave me words, words I could use to stand up for myself, talk about my feelings, learn about others, and feel good about myself and people who look like me. But for the first time ever, I had read a book that I did not understand, like at all. I left Brown Girl Dreaming on my bookshelf for months, upset and confused that I couldn't grasp the story. It was written in verse, which means that instead of traditional paragraphs, they were poems. The story would jump back and forth from past to present. It was rich with metaphors and similes. Later in the year, my TT asked me if I had finished the book. No, I didn't, I said with a big sigh, knowing that it would surprise her. But instead of being upset, she encouraged me to pick it back up again. After her visit, I sat on the couch and tried to read again. I finally understood it. It was the first time I had read a book that challenged my understanding. But reading it with a new understanding was so beautiful. I felt deeply connected to the story and to myself. The poetry gave me a mirror. I saw myself and it felt like a book that told my story the first time. Although Jacqueline Woodson is older than me and has lived places I've never lived and has a big family while I'm an only child, her words made me feel like she understood me. Reading Brown Girl Dreaming helped me understand the impact having a representative book can make in a kid's life. These types of books enable the reader to dream and to discover who they are. As I faced the struggles of sixth grade, I always remembered the lessons I learned from Brown Girl Dreaming, and it helped me stand up for myself. When I saw a lack of diversity in the books I was assigned throughout my time in school, I became frustrated. I thought back to the book and recognized that Black Girl books I knew, and I wanted Brown Girl Dreaming to be in my schools and schools everywhere. Then, with the help of my mom, I started hashtag 1000 Black Girl Books, an initiative to collect and donate a thousand books with Black girls as the protagonists. Six years later, I have collected 13,000 books where Black girls are the main character. I thank Brown Girl Dreaming for sparking the light inside of me.